News 6's Amanda Castro spoke with a local member of the Jewish Federation of Greater Orlando who says his community has long been a target of violence. Well, when the news first broke, it was terror, fear, sadness, anger. All the emotions Ben Friedman with the Jewish Federation of Greater Orlando felt after what is being called the deadliest attack on the American Jewish community in U.S. history. Eleven people shot and killed during Saturday morning prayer services at a Jewish synagogue in Pittsburgh. The FBI now investigating the shooting as a hate crime. It's not new to us. Anti-Semitism has been around for a really long time, but it's clearly growing and it's a sad reflection of the reality that we live in. A reality that now calls for more law enforcement at places of worship. We saw a Maitland police cruiser parked outside the Jewish Community Center in Maitland, a Winter Park PD officer at St. Margaret Mary Catholic Church, and UCF police outside religious centers on campus. Governor Rick Scott also ordering troopers increase patrols at houses of worship across the state. And Orange County Sheriff Jerry Deming says there will be more deputies at Jewish centers and synagogues throughout the county. Jewish community leaders would not go into specific details about their security measures, but they did say security is a top priority and they want to make sure people feel safe. This is tragic and yet at the same time we're prepared to move forward. We're not going to let it stop us and you know we're not going to live in fear. Friedman adding the Jewish community has long been the target of violence and extremism, saying something needs to be done to stop the hate. Anti-Semitism is nurtured by the spread of conspiracy theories and dog whistles, which is something that has become far too common and far too acceptable in the public discourse. And that's something that needs to change. In Maitland, Amanda Castro, News 6.